What is going on, guys and girls? My name is James Orthoxy, and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, it is that time again. As I like doing this. This is a fun game. Yeah, we are playing some more Pokemon Brick Bronze. And today, we have a few things that we want to do. So, we left off last episode doing some diving. And I've actually just come back out from there. I managed to get, like, um... Oh, I did like six more dives. Unfortunately, I haven't yet found the odd keystone, but the cool news is I actually got another one of the fossilized eggs. So uh, this is kind of cool because it basically means, oh, wait. Wait, wait a sec, wait, where, where is it, where is it, where is it? Helix fossil, oh, I think I got some new fossils as well. Uh, I got loads and loads of items, but hang on, wait, doesn't he ask me if he wants to revive an egg? I swear I got another fossilized egg. I did. Wait. Oh, no, it gets put into my PC, doesn't it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's not a big deal. So, yeah, today what I want to try and do is I want to try and hatch both of those eggs. Now, I was thinking to myself, look, we've got 35 Pokemon in our Pokedex. I want to get some more. But what I want to do is whilst I'm trying to fill my Pokedex, I want to try and find some shiny. So I was thinking, well, why don't we start to try and get some more Pokemon in our Pokedex, but put a shiny booster on whilst we are doing it. And then whilst we're doing it, hopefully we'll be able to actually get some more of our shiny Pokemon. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. Oh, before <laughs> before I carry on here, just, just want to say like a few things. Um, because I watched Justin's latest Brick Bronze video, and he actually talked to me about this as well, and he was kind of upset by it, but, um, which I kind of wanted to echo that, but, um, he was, like, experiencing basically harassment when he came onto a Brick Bronze server, and I haven't actually experienced this until, like, right now. Let me actually show you. Um, James, come out or I'll dislike all your videos. Can you, can you see that? I, I don't normally make an example of people because I know it's not fair, but like when me or Justin or Dan or any YouTuber is is like recording a video and stuff, you can't really talk at the same time because if like one person misses out, then that's really sad. But we're trying to make videos for like everyone to enjoy. So I know like 99.9% .9 of you are not going to do that. And the experience I've had up until now has been amazing. Apart from today, and I don't know why, that's really strange. But yeah, just to let you guys know, if you're in a Brick Bronze server and I'm on here and I'm recording, I can't really chat to you, I'm sorry. But after the recording is finished, I always try and stay and hang around. Oh, is that a Togepi egg? Oh my goodness, I think it is! Ah, okay, we're gonna hatch a Togepi. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I always try and chat with you and um, so you can take screenshots and stuff like that because I think it's really cool. It's very, very flattering uh, that you guys care <laughs> so much to meet me in game, so I appreciate that. But yeah, just to let you know, I'm not ignoring anyone. Justin isn't ignoring anyone. It's just a case that we're trying to make these videos and yeah, as I said, I've not had any negativity at all apart from literally today and like it was kind of like, oh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that kind of sucks. But yeah, it's just one of those things. So, like, so most people are really super nice. So if I've met you in Roblox and you've been super nice, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, anyway, so what I'm going to do today is we are actually going to whack on and we're going to buy some of these powers. So I'm going to buy the plus three step for the hatch rate on eggs, which is amazing. And I'm also going to increase the shiny rate, which is... It's a 100 Roblox, so it's kind of expensive, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it because why, why not, right? And what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to some different areas here. And whilst we are walking around trying to get to these different areas, we're going to try and hatch these dudes and see what we get. That looks like a Togepi egg to me. So if we can hatch a Togepi, that would be amazing. But I don't know. Let's see. So you know what? Let's try Chesma Town to start off here. Uh, let's just go maybe, I don't want to go, mm, should we go back all the way to the beginning? I don't know, let's just see what we can find. Maybe we'll find something cool, and if we find a shiny, even better. Um, but yeah, whilst we do this and have a little look around, how is everyone doing? I hope you are good and stuff. I'm guessing you guys are back to school. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to catch everything that I don't have, basically. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing you guys are like back at school now, which kind of, which kind of sucks. I know the feeling very, very well. I've been through school and stuff. But hey, on the bright side, it is January. It will soon be February. This Caterpie is trolling me. It's level four, lads. What are you doing, Caterpie? <sighs> but yeah, it is, it is, it is January and it will soon be February, which means it'll be half term. And then it'll be March and then it'll be Easter holidays pretty soon. And then get through a few exams and then boom, summer holidays where we can all sit around watching YouTube videos. Maybe go outside, play some Pokemon Go. Who knows? 
Um, but, but yeah, like, uh, no, no, no. Okay, so yeah, I, I know what that school feeling is like. But the thing is, like, once you get into the swing of things, I always find that it's kind of like, yeah, I'm back and it's okay and stuff. But yeah, the first week back, at least I think it's the first week back for a lot of people. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's okay. There will be videos and stuff around for you guys to watch. So Hmm, I'm kind of thinking where would be a cool area to, to go and catch things because just catching random stuff like cocooners and that, I don't want to fill my episode with that. I want to try and maybe catch something that's quite cool. So I was thinking maybe going back to that desert area, maybe trying to catch one of those shiny cactus. <laughs> that might be quite cool. Or, oh, I know where there's actually Lucario spawning. Maybe a shiny Lucario would be a really cool one to try and get. Ooh, should we do that instead? That could be awesome. Or we could go fishing and maybe try and catch a shiny Magikarp. But the thing is, like, even though the shiny booster is super low... Let's just use some... Why is this guy, like, trolling me? Like, seriously, it's a level 6 Kakuna. I don't really want to have to beat up a Kakuna to catch it. I expect it to, to want to join the team. Okay, it's joined the team now. Fantastic. So, yeah, hmm. Where should we go? Oh, maybe we can go to the sewers, try and find a shiny Grimer. Oh, that would actually be really cool, wouldn't it? Should we go to the sewers? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I want to try and make the most of the shiny bonus, so there'll probably be a few jump cuts in this video where I'm just grinding stuff out, but hmm. Rose Cove has pretty cool Pokemon. Anthean City has pretty cool... You know what, we're going to go to the sewers. Yeah, because there's some really cool things there. I really like Grimer. He's like one of my favorites. Um, so I think we should go and do that. Here we are in the battle district, but we need to go and get down to the sewers. Now, do I remember how to do that? Hmm. All right. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of grindy grindy in the sewers. If I bump into anything awesome, then I will join you once back again. Hopefully we can find one shiny this episode. That would be amazing. I'd love to... Oh, can you imagine building a whole team of shinies? Oh, that would be epic. That would be so cool. Um, we'll try. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do it, but we're going to try. How do we get to the sewers? How? I've forgotten. We need to find the po Pokeball shop. That looks like a Pokeball over there. Wasn't the sewers behind the Pokeball shop? I seem to remember it was because you can get into it from two ways. You can get into it from the side and then you can get into it from the... Um... Oh, apparently as well. There's a fancy trash can around here that I'm supposed to click. Where would that be? Oh, is this it? Is this it? This is the first trash can that I found, but apparently I was told to find... Oh! Oh, we got our first egg hatching! Wow, that was super quick! Is it going to be a Togepi? Come on. Come on. Can you imagine if it was a shiny Togepi? That would be insane. Yay! We got a Togepi! Woohoo! <laughs> so that's the first of our fossilized eggs, and we've got ourselves a Togepi. That's so cute! Yeah, oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm super happy with that. Is this the trash can? Oh, it's a stinky dumpster. Ah. I was told to click on it. Am I doing it wrong? Maybe there's something I need to do. Uh. It's a stinky dumpster. Okay. Apparently a Trubbish spawns there, does it? I don't know. This is the only trash can that I found. But yeah, if you guys know what to do with catching a Trubbish, then please let me know. Like, tweet me or leave a comment or something. That would be awesome. Uh, but okay, anyway, so I'm getting super distracted already. The good news is we've hatched one of our eggs, and I don't think it'll be too long for our second egg hatches as well. I think there's four Pokemon that we can get. What is down here? That looks so dodgy. How do we <laughs> How do we get down there? Whoa, look at the, the Haunted Graffiti. Huh. I wonder how we get down there. Can we get down there? Maybe we can't. All right, okay. So anyway, I'm going to go down to the sewers, and I'm going to see if I can catch a few Pokemon. Uh, you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm actually going to buy some more Pokeballs, because we're running a little low. So let me go and grab some of these bad boys, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in a sec. Kidoki, so just checking in. Um, yeah, I've been down in the sewers. I have been located. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of look at these guys hello so yeah you know, I'm, I'm not a horrible person i promise so here we go these these are the people from today's videos we've got man with gold chain we've got man with green t-shirt we've got man with glasses we have lady with penguin t-shirt and we have man dressed as greninja uh, <laughs> but yeah so i've been grinding around here for a little bit 
So far, so good. I've actually caught a Grimer. I was really gutted. I thought it was, uh, like, going to be a... Sh no, I didn't think it was going to be a shiny one, but I wish it was a shiny one. Um, but so far, I've caught Grimer, Voltorb. I've caught Magnemite as well. And I've caught Clink. Is it, is it called Clink? It's like the weird little cog ones. So, um, yeah, this is what I've been doing around here. I don't think there's any other Pokemon around here. So what I was thinking about doing was when I actually, like, find all of the Pokemon inside one area, then I'm going to move on to the next one. If I find a shiny Grimer... Great. If I don't, then it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to sort of just... There seems to be nothing here. Um, oh, there we go. Fantastic. So what is this going to be? It's a Voltorb. Dun, dun, dun. It's not very good. Uh, okay, so to be honest, I think I've... Um, I've kind of caught everything in this particular area, but this is sort of what I did with Pokemon. Um, okay, let's take a screenshot. There you go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm kind of going to be moving to the different areas, and then when I go to an area, I will catch everything, and then I'll move on to the next one. If we find a shiny, great. If we don't, then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know what I mean? Hey, you got Dante the MT shirt. This is pretty cool. Ah, you know what? I'm going to say hello, because hello... Hello, smiley face. Okay, right, we're gonna move on to the next area. Screenshots, everyone, have we got him? Yes, I subscribe. Thank you, dude. All right, okay, let's go. Let's go, this man. He looks pretty scary. Let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, so here's a question. I'm kind of curious whilst I'm doing this because what I'm doing is I'm essentially, like, running through areas, getting into lots of, um, like, rea uh, look, what's the word? Encounters, that's the word. So I'm just going through lots of different encounters and seeing if there's something new. If there's something new, I catch it. If there's not, I move on to another area. I was wondering, like, do you guys want to see this? Or, because I'm, from, from like, this video now, I've cut out me catching, like, nine or ten different Pokemon. Um, and I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys want to see? Ooh, Onyx, hey, dude. Um, but, yeah, do you guys want to see this in the videos? I mean, it's quite fun for me. I don't know if it's fun to watch because I, I try and, like, keep... My Brick Bronze episode's quite entertaining. So that's why, like, in the 18 episodes, 19, I can't remember quite how many we've done, but I try and keep them, like, as entertaining as possible, and I try and put a lot of action in them. But, I mean, this is kind of fun. I mean, it would give me a chance to kind of just talk about stuff whilst I play Pokemon in the background. Um, and it could be actually kind of cool to get that live reaction of me sort of finding a shiny or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. So, in future episodes, if you guys just let me know in the comments, like, if you... Oh, it's a Diglett. Hey, dude, what's up? Um, yeah, it's kind of cool because pretty much every Pokemon we run into is one that we don't have yet. Which is kind of nice. I know normally when you're grinding for shinies, you should probably just stay in the same area and just constantly, like encounter 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 if you're looking for something specific but to be honest i'm not really looking for anything too specific i kind of just want to see what happens i think that's kind of the fun of shinies because if you're not looking for something specific you just kind of like have a random chance at finding something um but yeah if like watching this kind of thing is something that you'd want to see then just let me know if not then i can continue to like cut it out um, but yeah, just let me know. Uh, this is kind of, I don't know, because I guess there would be more Pokemon Brick Bronze episodes, um, but we might do slightly less in them, so I know a lot of people really like the Brick Bronze, and I really enjoy playing it, like, an awful lot, so, um, yeah, that would be kind of cool to hear your feedback. So, I don't know if there's anything else particularly in here. I've caught Rog and Roller, I've caught Onyx. Outside, I caught the Goat one, which is a really weird one. I caught a Pidgeotto. So already we've caught, what, we we were on, what were we on? We were on 35 and now we're on 48, which is pretty good, I think. That is pretty decent. So, hmm, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get out of this cave because I think we've pretty much caught everything we can in here. Oh, Geodude, hey! Speak of the devil. A new one. All right, we're going to catch this Geo, dude. Man, the quick balls, like, I swear by these quick balls. They're so good. And pretty much, I think actually every single Pokemon I have caught, I've caught in one ball just using it. Oh, yes. And it's done that one shake glitch thing. Not glitch, but you have a chance to catch one in one wobble. <laughs> I love that. Oh, so good. There we go. Boom. So we're doing really well. Like, really, really well. And what I was thinking, if you guys didn't want to see me grind out uh, my Pokedex, then I'd probably just go back to the starter area and then just do, like, each town one by one um, with a shiny booster on. And if I caught anything along the way, that would be really cool. But anyway, what I want to do is get out of this place. So uh, let's get out of here. And then there's some grass outside. So I might do a little grindy grindy around there. Ooh, one more encounter. And it's another Geodude. Man, a shiny Geodude. Can you imagine getting a shiny Geodude? I'd be kind of disappointed, but at the same time, it might be quite cool. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's go out here. 
and let's see what's cracking. I did actually get a couple new fossils, I think, as well. So we do have a couple of fossils which we are due to uh, open up. But yeah, this is this is the goat one. Skiddo. I've already got one of those. They're kind of cute though, right? Oh, wow, look, a poniard. Hey, wait a minute. So I can't remember because the reason why I cut to this one out of just all of them was there was a Pokemon. Does this have, does, does Ponyard evolve into Bisharp? Because Bisharp was a super powerful Pokemon, I remember when we were playing uh, the Pixelmon series. So now we know where Ponyard spawns. Can we imagine getting a shiny one? How cool would that be? Ooh, that might actually. Uh, when am I battling Justin? I have no idea. <laughs> I will at some point, I think. We need to. We need to battle again, me and Justin, because last time I was left with unfinished business. But if you guys have seen it, we did a uh, Pixelmon a Lucky Blocks battle recently, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we need to battle with me and Justin soon. So, so far, no shinies. This has been going really badly. I've had quite a lot of encounters, but hey, who knows? I'm just catching things as I go along. So I'm now on Route 10, um, and I've caught a Spoink, I've caught a Ponyard, and I've caught a Hoppip, I think? So that should be pretty good. Um, I'm just going to keep looking. I'm going to keep looking, basically. Keep grinding, and hopefully we'll find something cool. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> a Helioptile? <laughs> I've never seen one of these before in my life. Man, there's some weird Pokemon. I, I, I'm, I'm going to show you all the Pokemon I've caught at the end of this episode. I've caught some weird Pokemon in this area. Hey, and it was first one as well. It did that weird, like, single catch, which is amazing. A Helioptile. I've never seen her. Like, this must be the game that I, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at knowing my Pokemon, but there was one game generation that I missed, and I'm guessing that was it. But yeah, we're catching some really cool ones. So still no more shinies. I've been grinding for about 25 minutes here in the same area, just trying to find something. Um, and unfortunately, as of right now, nothing too good. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep going. So it does seem that there are some like rarer ones in this grass as well. That's the first Helioptal. Helioptile? One of the two. It's the first one that I've actually seen. So things are going pretty well, I think. Things are going pretty well. There's a lot of hoppips, though. I'm not going to lie. Getting kind of fed up with hoppips. Ah, things are not going well on the shiny front, lads. Um, <laughs> I've been doing this for ages. I've been doing so, this so, ah, so long, so, so long, and I haven't found a single shiny, and I'm gutted. I really wanted to get a shiny one of these dudes. I really wanted. I think it's blue instead of red, but unfortunately, I've I've encountered so many Pokemon that it's ridiculous, and I think unfortunately my shiny booster is gonna run out in like two minutes. So. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. We did try, but I'm wondering, like, as I said earlier in the video, if you guys want to see me uh, go around the map, collect new Pokemon, and hopefully run into something shiny along the way, we'll definitely put a booster on for that. Um, and then it's going to cost us a load of Roblox, uh, Ro Roblox? <laughs> Robux, but it doesn't matter. It's all good in the hood. And uh, yeah, I think maybe we can do that. So what I'll do is... Oh, Growlithe. Why? A shiny, uh, well, a shiny Growlithe would be amazing as well. That would be a really cool one. Um, but something tells me it's just not going to happen today. It's just one of those days. But hey, we caught loads of new Pokemon. I've gone from 35 to 57 in my Pokedex, which I'm pretty happy about. And we also hatched a Togepi which was also awesome. Funnily enough, the other fossilized egg, which we've got still running, still hasn't hatched yet. So that must mean it has a ton of steps left to do. Oh, please give me a shiny pony art. All right, so I'm going to wait here for like five more minutes, wait for my um, shiny thing to run out, and then... <sighs> We'll go and check out our hall. Okie dokies, well, we ran out of time and there's a dance party going on. <laughs> All right, okay, so I think we have just had terrible luck today. I do not think we have done very well at all, but you know what? It's okay because let's go to Laguna Lake. Let's fly out of here, woo! -hoo! And let's go and check out our hall. So no shiny Pokemon today. Today I learned though, shiny Pokemon are really hard to find. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if we find one, it's gonna be extra special, but we actually caught a good haul of Pokemon here. Look at this. We've got Magnemites, Grimers, we've got Goats, we've got Doduos, Growlithes. We've got this Heliop. 
thingamajig, which is just quite a funky looking Pokemon. Quite like it. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video today. Yeah, definitely let me know. If you guys want to see me grind out my Pokedex and look for shinies at the same time, then please let me know. Um, but yes, yeah, so before you go, if you could please poke me in that like button, that would be much appreciated. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.